Well, welcome everybody to the show and thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Ginsburg, for having me today. It's a privilege to be here. We're going to show you how to use some different ingredients, classic ingredients in both fine dining and now able to be used in every type of cuisine and every type of restaurant venue just about. If you can cook, you can make what I'm going to show you today. We're going to create a dish using pepperoni, which is one of the top ingredients in the um, pizza industry. Everybody knows pepperoni on pizza. We're going to show you how to use it in a different application today with a recipe called pepperoni alfredo that I first made back in 1992. And we're going to show you a second recipe using marsala wine, a classic recipe of marsala, but we're going to pair it with the famous KC Wild Wings, and we're going to create a dish called Mini Asobuco Marsala. So we'll begin. I started warming up my pans. You got to have your pans hot so you can caramelize your vegetables. And in both recipes, I like to start off with a little bit of olive oil. We get the olive oil going, we uh, get it warm, we coat the bottom of the pan, the pans are already hot, so the oil will get hot immediately. Both recipes use a little bit of onion. We're gonna practice some a la menu cookery today, which means cooking to order. A Couple of tablespoons of onion for the asobuco, couple of tablespoons of onion for the pepperoni alfredo. With the asabuco, we're building layers of flavor. The asabuco comes already cooked. We have a 24 ounce, a brand new 16 ounce, which we have in the poster here and in some of the pictures. We have a two ounce, a four ounce, which is the original KC Wild Wing. You can see the pictures right over here. I added a couple of tablespoons of mirepoix of celery and carrot with the onion. Now we've created a classic European mirepoix. And I'm tossing that, letting it get coated with the oil, letting it cook. Over here, onion's cooking, it's starting to wilt. Exactly what we want. We're gonna add some fresh garlic. One of the little tricks to garlic is when you get it peeled, cut off the back, the little stem end, and that takes away a lot of the bitterness. That's where all the bitterness comes from. We're just gonna slice that up real fine. Put that in with the onion, you don't need a lot, it's fresh garlic. Oh, this one's not cutting. There we go. All right, so now we're caramelizing our vegetables. This is going along really nice. We'll turn the heat up on that, get that really going. Onions are cooking beautifully for the Alfredo. Now while those onions are going, we're gonna take a piece of green bell pepper and a piece of red bell pepper. We're gonna do a julienne. And then crosswise so we get a nice even dice. And then that diced pepper goes with the onions. We want the pepper to try to keep its color so we don't throw it in too early. We want to cook it, but it doesn't have to caramelize. It's very sweet. Bell peppers are more fragrant. And they add another layer of flavor. Toss that in, that's going beautifully. Give this a toss on this side and now we're gonna add in our asabuco, or mini KC wings. These are approximately two ounce portions. We're gonna add them right in with the mirepoix and let them brown a little. To help them brown and add a little extra flavor, I'm gonna add two pats of butter.
and I'm going to add in a little bit of mushroom. Again, we're building layers of flavor. We're taking an ingredient that you normally don't use from our sala and creating a wonderful dish. So that's going to brown. We got that on a high heat. Now the pepperoni alfredo is going to go quick now while the, while the um, asabuco is cooking. We're going to um, add a little bit of chicken stock. This isn't a traditional Alfredo, but it's a recipe we came up with. The chicken stock goes really good with the pasta. We're going to let that reduce down. We're going to add in our heavy cream. We're going to start seasoning now. A little black pepper. Classic Alfredo, that's what they used, was fresh cracked black pepper and Reggiano Parmigiano. We're gonna also season our asabuco because we're doing two recipes here at the same time. And we're gonna do a little salt. We don't need as much salt for the Alfredo. A little bit of McCormick Italian seasoning. I happen to like McCormick, they do a nice job. I add it to both recipes, adds another layer of flavor. And then for the pepperoni alfredo, I'm going to add a little hot sauce. I like to kick it up a notch because of the pepperoni. We're going to add in a couple of pats of butter. And that's going to melt in and make it richer. And then while that's reducing down, we're going to add in our pasta, which will add the starch effect. This is going to be a hearty portion. And that's going to reduce down a little bit. And then right now, a little bit of cheese on top, just a couple of tablespoons. We're going to move back over here to the asabuco. We're going to turn that. That's starting to brown. Look at that. Got nice caramelization. Just what we wanted. And we cut the cooking time down. If you bought raw ham shanks, it would take you hours to cook them. We've done all the work taking care of all the labor. Labor saver. Beautiful product, naturally cooked. By the way, our, our pepperoni is made with fresh garlic and fresh herbs. We're one of the only ones in the industry doing that. The whole industry's changed to all dehydrated ingredients. Nothing wrong with that, but fresh is delicious. Now this is cooking up really nicely. We're tossing that, look at that. That's gonna reduce down a little bit. I made some, we have some fresh greens from earlier, broccoli rob. We're gonna garnish our plate with the broccoli rob. We're gonna add a little bit of beef stock to the uh, asabuco, just a couple of tablespoons. We're going to add the main ingredient, the star of the show, besides the asabuco, the marsala. That's going to add a lot of nice aroma, a lot of flavor. And then we're also going to add, I made earlier, a little demi. You can add a, a gravy or a demi glaze, brown gravy. This has got all the thickener in it. It's gonna build another layer of flavor and help coat and really add to that sauce that we're making there. This is now tightened up. I can turn this off. And we've got our first dish done. This is beautiful. Oh, before I forgot one thing. 
Before we turn that off, we're going to do one thing. We forgot our fresh herb. Little stem. I like to add a little fresh chopped parsley to the my Alfredo. And I like to add the same, a tablespoon, a little fresh chopped parsley to, parsley to the asabuco. It's Italian flat leaf, that's the best. For the Alfredo, we're also going to add a little chiffonade of fresh basil. Let that cook up just for a second. If it gets a little thick, no problem. You can add a little more cream or stock, whatever you like. Look at that, beautiful. This is coming along fabulous. Look at this, nice and coated. This is going to reduce down. At this point, the meat's heated up, and it was browned on both sides. So we're going to take our lovely pieces of the asabuco. We're going to put them on the plate here with the roasted potatoes and the fresh asparagus we've already gotten ready. We're gonna let this reduce down a little bit. This is cut. This sauce is just, just I can smell it. Absolutely beautiful. And we always, we always taste for seasoning. Perfect. Perfect. Right at the end, we're going to toss in our pepperoni. Pepperoni is already dry cured and aged and smoked and ready to go. This will toss in with the pasta dish. The idea is, is that the dish will warm up the pepperoni and a little bit of the oil will come out. All the flavor of that beautiful pepperoni will melt right into the pasta. Okay, I got a trivia question. Who knows where pepperoni was invented? Well, I'm going to tell you, pepperoni was invented in the United States of America in the Lower East Side of New York City by Italian immigrants in the very late 1800s, early 1900s. They came to the Lower East Side in what's today Little Italy, and when they settled there, they took local ingredients and they created a new type of dry sausage, native to this country with the ingredients that they found. And here we have the finished product. We'll garnish it with some fresh Little fresh basil in the middle, a couple of leaves, little sprinkle of the uh, cheese, pepperoni alfredo. Now over here we have the asabuco marsala. The sauce is reducing down. You can see that beautiful marsala there. This sauce reduced down nicely. It's nice and thick. We've got the mushrooms, we've got the mirepoix. We're gonna put that sauce right on top. You can feed two people with this plate. 
The nice part is, is that the meat took no time to cook because it's already done for you. We, we did all the labor, labor saver. And here we go with Asabuco Mini KC Wing Marsala. All this, these products are available right here, Ginsburg, for your distributor. If anybody has any questions, come on up. If you'd like to taste the Asabuco Marsala, we have it at the Smithfield booth right here next to the stage, and also the pepperoni Alfredo. Thank you all very much.